we're here at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument in Arizona on this beautiful Sunday morning here in the early part of February 2022. Gonna take a hike up to Victoria Mine this morning. It's about five miles round trip. Take a quick look at the map here. The government says it's 4.2, all trails says it's five, so I guess we'll see. It's kind of a weird trailhead. You actually got to drive through the campground to get here. And we're going to head up here and up to Victoria Mine. The trail does continue on to Lost Cabin Mine, which is going to be closer to eight miles round trip if you do that. So there are trails that connect in the area as well. And um, you can also access this from the uh, four-wheel drive right there. No bikes, no pets allowed on the trail. About 2.2 miles in here, approaching the intersection. We're gonna take a left here towards Victoria Mine. Again, we just came from Twin Peaks Campground here at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Park. Taking a right would take us into the Sunita Basin, Red Tanks and Baker Mine. You can actually drive to there from the South Boundary Road. Well, we've made it here to the Victoria Mine Site in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument in Southern Arizona. We're standing here in front of the mine store, what would be like the general store for the mine. According to the Park Service, this mine was active generally in the late 1800s, early 1900s for the most part, although some activity did continue until 1976 when this was designated wilderness area. This is primarily a silver ore mine. There are several mine shafts in the area. Some vertical mine shafts, a couple of those that I saw, another one up there, and then possibly a horizontal shaft there. Of course, everything's sealed off. Even if it wasn't, we wouldn't be going into it for safety reasons, of course. This also is a protected habitat area. I guess mats frequent the mines. I did Victoria Mine in and out one day and returned the following day to hike on to Lost Cabin Mine. I'm going to splice this together here though and show you the continuation on the Lost Cabin Mine. If you are only hiking to Victoria Mine in and out, that'll be about five miles round trip, a little over two hours including some stop time for pictures and looking around. This video will continue on as though it were one hike.
So we've continued our hike here on past Victoria Mine, headed up to Lost Cabin Mine. Looks like this is gonna end up adding about 3.6 miles to the Victoria Mine Trail. Just gonna put you around that eight and a half mile mark or so. As we break over the pass here, off in the far distance, you can actually see Mexico. That are the Sonoita Mountains. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Sonoita Mountains. I don't know if you can see the dark line. That's the border fence. I forgot my hat today. Well, actually I started out wearing a stocking cap and I didn't bring my regular hat, which was a mistake. It got hot pretty quickly. We will be getting up to the Lost Cabin Mine here pretty soon, about another half a mile from this Y intersection here. You can hike to Lost Cabin Mine from the Puerto Blanco Scenic Loop Drive in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. That is about a 41 mile scenic loop drive that goes through the west side of the park here. Requires a four wheel drive high clearance vehicle. At least that's what the sign indicates. I would say for the most part that road is pretty good. There's some pretty sandy spots on the south end on the boundary road there. If you take a look at my other videos, you'll see I do have a video of me riding that loop on my motorcycle. So be sure to check that out if that's something that interests you. So we're just approaching a old stone house here getting pretty well to the end of the trail i believe we're actually right in below the mine site i think you can probably make it out up there that uh, tailings pile and chain link fence around it but before you get clear up there we do have this stone house here stone building So I believe the official trail ended there at the stone house. When you travel beyond that, it's gonna add additional distance to the trip. Naturally, people tend to continue on up a little ways, probably go up here and see the actual mine site itself because I believe it's still on up here just a little ways. So we're approaching what appears to be the actual mine shafts for Lost Cabin Mine here. Just a little ways above the stone house itself. I have right at four miles to here, so we're gonna be around eight miles round trip out and back from the Victoria Mine Trailhead parking there within the campground. Yeah, there's not really much to see up here. As we head on back and wrap this up, I hope you've enjoyed the look at these two hiking options here in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. There are more hiking options available. Be sure to check those out on all trails or on the Park Service website. Again, I thank you for joining me today. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe so you can get notified about future adventure videos as I'll have more hiking videos and scenic drive videos coming out soon.